Hey everybody, um, this is just a quick little uh, video um, just to share my experience with uh, opening a bank account in Colombia. So, uh, oh my goodness, uh, if there's ever evidence that a person needs that they need the, they need the, uh, the Spanish language, this is it. Um, my Spanish isn't very good. And when I got a little help uh, with uh, opening my account, I had a, a, a friend of mine, a, a young kid, come and help me. And, and then the second, and then the second part of it, I just went by myself, and I used, uh, you know, your all your uh, translating apps, and it was quite the ordeal. So I'm telling you, it was a lot easier if you know Spanish or you got a really good interpreter. So anyways, uh, what I did is I opened up, a, this is my experience based on me opening up a bank account with Banco Colombia. And, and I have to say that they're very nice people. They, they're very understanding and they tried their best and it, I, I believe it was good service, but it was a totally different experience than what I was aware of in, um, in, in Canada. So in Canada, when I open up a bank account, you have to make an appointment kind of silly in a lot of ways in my opinion anyways uh, you you make an appointment and you go to the bank sit down with some person you open a bank account once you get online then you can even open up bank accounts online in Canada so it was a similar experience here uh, only the format was a lot different so for I've never seen anything like that so anyways you make an appointment you can make an appointment online or you can go to the location by yourself and make an appointment. And, uh, and, and so what it is, you, you go there and it's not a, your standard bank. Uh, what it is, it's a location, for, uh, this is, remember this is Bank of Columbia, and the, uh, you, you get a number and you go and sit down in this big room and there's like 50 other people there ahead of you. And they had like 10 uh, 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 booths or 10 spots where you would go and speak to a person. So you wait and you get your number called, you go up there and uh, and and then you have to present your cedula and, uh, and, and, and one of the things I was not aware of was that you gotta have all your documentation too. So I had to, I went there, gave the cedula, nope, gotta go back and get the document. So I had to go back Get all my original uh, documents proving that I had that income. So this is my original documents I used that were legalized and that I used to obtain my visa. And then, uh, so they just wanted that piece of paper saying, um, this is how much you make. And then they photocopy it, they take the cedula. And after that, it was pretty quick. Then they, uh, but one of the things they didn't do is that when they, when they had me set up to uh, uh, open my account to get it going again, um, the, you, my entry into the bank account I had to use, at first you have to use the cedula, but they didn't tell me that with, with uh, people who are immigrants, you had to put three zero in front of the cedula number. It doesn't say that anywhere. I had to go back and find out what was going on and uh, finally, uh, they didn't even seem to know. Finally, some person who was in charge of everybody let them know that 30 is a number you put in front of your uh, cedula number to get things rolling and get signed in initially. Then once you get that done, then uh, you have to make an appointment to go back and uh, for the first withdrawal and, and deposit. After that, it's really easy. Uh, so I got the online app on my phone and it's really, really easy to, uh, uh, to use your bank account after that. And you get a little bank card and Bob's your uncle. Uh, weird thing though is that they didn't want, for some reason, they didn't want me to open up more than one account. Uh, it's not that important to me and maybe I misunderstood, but anyways, I thought I'd tackle that later. It's not important right now to figure that out just as long as you have that bank account going um, now um, f 
for you who want to deposit money into uh, your account from Canada. Um, uh, I had used Western Union in the past and they were really, I don't know, seemed to be expensive as well. And my, my bank in Canada, I use Scotiabank, would not deposit directly into my account here. Uh, apparently Colombia is on one of the banned countries that they don't do that with. I don't get it, but whatever. So um, I talked to some friends of mine and they use what's called WISE. It's a, um, uh, similar to, to uh, any other transfer of funds, foreign funds. So uh, it worked really good for me. It, it, it was only uh, cost me all in about two and a half percent, uh, not even really. And so it was very affordable, very quick, uh, very streamlined, and so I'm gonna be using that in the future. Well, anyways, that's it. Uh, that's my little experience, uh, my lessons. I gotta get Spanish. I, I just, I gotta learn this language. Life will be a lot easier once I become uh, a lot more conversational with it. Um, and so that's it. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Bye.